Hello party people. I just went on a shopping spree. Not the kind that I would have wanted to go on. I bought a ton of food. I'm preparing to make a crap ton of freezer meals. Probably way too many than my freezer can even hold. Which then prompts my husband to be like, yes, we finally get to buy the freezer that I've been wanting for 20 years. He wants like four more freezers in our garage. We have one. He wants more. I digress. I went to Costco. I went to Publix. I also went to Trader Joe's a few days ago, so I will post that haul come included in this one. Why not? It's going to be forever long already. So I've got a lot of food happening. Let me show you this. It took me forever to meal plan this. That was my grocery list. This is my list of freezer meals that I plan on. It's too extensive. I really think I'm overdoing it. This is Publix. This is Costco. So let's just jump in, shall we? I got some romaine lettuce. This is not for freezer meals. This is just because mama's hungry and I love making salads. You guys know I make romaine lettuce and then cucumbers over here with some red onion, feta cheese. Is that it? Yes, and the Olive Garden dressing. Oh, it's my go-to, everyone loves it, okay? I also got two containers of raspberries. These were like three or four dollars and oh, they look so good. I did not eat any on the way home because I was too distracted by a child of mine. Uh, strawberries, one container of strawberries. I don't know how much these were. It didn't matter because strawberries are delicious. Got a bundle of bananas because uh, that's looking pretty sad. So is that star fruit over there looking sad. I got these grapes, um, lifetime supply. I normally never buy my grapes from Costco because there are so many of them. But we're having a lot of people over for dinner tonight so I figured I could just put these out and hopefully people will munch on them <laughs> so they don't go bad in my fridge in like a week, you know? I also got pecans. And a part of me, you'll see in my Trader Joe's haul, I want to make Pope's bread, which I'll explain during that haul because I'm pretty sure I, al I already did. But I got a little thing of pecans and I just don't know what I was thinking because this entire humongous bag of pecans or pecans, whatever you call them, were I had like 12 or 13 bucks. It's crazy. The price of nuts at Costco is insane. These, you guys, I have seen these at Costco and they're like supposed to be healthier versions of muffins, whatnot. I don't even know. I didn't look at the nutrition facts. I just go off of marketing scheme. It says veggies on the cover. It must be healthy. Oh, let's get that crusty banana out of the frame. Okay. Anyway, they had these out for samples, which you know, the samples always get me at Costco. These were the best ones. They had both of the like frittata eggy ones. They had the spinach and egg and then bacon and egg and they also had blueberry muffins. But these cranberry orange hit the spot. They were my favorite so I decided to buy them. They weren't even on sale. That's how delicious they were. Okay, why does Costco do that? Why don't you highlight the sale items? Okay, save me a few dollars mm, because my instant gratification won't allow me to wait until these go on sale because then I'll forget about how delicious they were. Cream cheese, I need that mostly for, I think one recipe. I don't really know. I just, I'm making a bunch of meals and I made a list of st things I needed and I'm pretty sure I don't need six bars. But you can't beat the price at Costco. I also got a ton of butter because butter makes everything taste better. Am I right? I got some mandarin oranges. We've been eating the snaws out of these. A huge bag of meatballs. Oh, I hope we have barbecue sauce because I did not buy more barbecue sauce. But for some reason, what I've been craving, you guys know, my cra like I'm not a big meat eater. I typically eat very, very little meat, very sparingly. However, during my pregnancies, red meat, I want it all. It's not even about the iron at this point because I eat so much other iron-rich foods, so many other iron-rich foods. Anyway, I have been craving the meatballs that you make in the crock pot with the jelly. Oh, did I buy the jelly? I hope I did. Let's just wait till we get there. <laughs> anyway, they don't sell grape jelly at Costco. What, did you know about this? Because I had no idea, or at least they were out of it, or some kind of conspiracy was happening. Anyway, you throw meatballs in a crock pot with jelly and barbecue sauce. It is divine. 
Oh, my mouth is watering. I just want it right now. I don't know if I don't know if I can wait for it to sit in a crock pot to heat up. I also got this huge block of cheese. Do you know how much this is? I don't really remember. Hopefully I put the prices on the screen right here, but I think it's like three or four dollars for this huge thing. If you get the pre-shredded packs, which is the same amount, it's two pounds, and then you buy the two pound shredded pack. It's like four times the cost. It's crazy. And you guys know that I just bought a cheese grater from Target like a few months ago. I don't know when I did it, but I have it. So I'm going to put it to use. You know what I mean? I also got a box of granola bars. My kids love them. But you know what my kids like even better than the Costco brand? The Cascadian Farms brand. Because, I mean, let's be real. It is better. You know what I mean? I got two of these because my freaking eight-year-old is a Visco girl. I just learned what a, <laughs> a Visco girl was. Hilarious. Anyway, she really wanted one. And I lost one of mine. So I only have one left. And I figured... I can't, oh, and mine have straws, and these are just the ones that do not have straws. They weren't on sale, sadly, but I do like the colors, and we needed them. I'd, I'm obsessed with water bottles the same way my husband is obsessed with backpacks. So there's my justification, okay? I also got some spinach, need that for a freezer meal. Oh, and the tortillas! I actually have a ton of these in my cabinet already. My hand looked real weird when I did that. Um, but I needed more because I'm gonna make, uh, what am I making? Breakfast burritos, and then I'm also going to be making like lunchtime burritos, like beef and bean burritos. Oh, I'm so excited about it. I love, I love food, really. Mexican food, Greek food. I don't buy a lot of Greek food because I don't make it very well. <laughs> I don't discriminate, okay? I love all the food. I'll eat it all. Thai food is like the best, but I literally cannot make that to save my life. Same with Chinese food. Okay, moving. My Chinese food always ends up tasting like Italian <laughs> food. It's weird. I don't know what happens. Um, okay, these are also great uh, Hawaiian rolls, and there's a ton in here for the price. It's insane. It's a 30, 32 rolls, a lot. It's a two pack of 16, it's insane. And then really, it's like a quick and easy dinner. You just throw some meatballs on here with sauce. It's like, what? What? I mean, I don't know if it's healthy, but whatever. My kids are fed, you know what I mean? In like 15 minutes. Ziploc bags. This is like a lifetime supply, guys. 152 bags. But again, I'm making a bunch of freezer meals, and I know I won't be making 152, but eventually throughout my life, I'm sure I will be able to use up the Ziploc bags. Uh, I know plastic and all that, but like what else am I supposed to put in my freezer? Oh wait, you know what? There's one more thing in the garage that we didn't put bring in and I bought um, the tin What are they called the tin? Trays, I'll try to remember to show you I probably won't remember so hold me to it. Okay, I got some maple syrup We've been out of it for a while and this is the best price of like organic pure maple syrup anywhere it's like 10 or 14 dollars something crazy for as much as you get i also got a ton of potatoes i plan on making mashed potatoes but putting them in the freezer fingers crossed i don't know how it's going to turn out guys we're just going to find out together okay there's little eleanor back there i also got some crepes mostly because eleanor loves them so much that's what you smelled throat through the package I got two dozen eggs, breakfast burritos, and then also just eggs. You know, eggs are delicious. I got two, what are these, cantaloupe? They were a decent price. You know how much the watermelons were? The mini watermelons? Eight bucks. Oh, what? Avelina really wanted them, but I said, no, ma'am, I'm not spending $8 on two teeny tiny watermelons that are probably not going to be good because I'm so bad at picking out watermelons. Okay, Reynolds Wrap also needed this, but um, hello, lifetime freaking supply of this as well, but couldn't pass up the price anywhere else the same price would have gotten me like a quarter of the amount. You know what I mean? Moving along, oh my gosh, the most meat I think I've ever bought in my entire life. Chicken thighs, I got a lot of them. I spent, what is this, 18.66 on 8.5 pounds. I also got some chicken breasts and some chicken drumsticks. I'm finding that my family really enjoys the drumsticks and good thing because they're super cheap. How much are they here? I spent $7.58 on nine and a half pounds. They're 80 cents a pound. And I know like that has the bone in and all that stuff, but what? That's still crazy. Less than a dollar a pound. 
I got a lot of ground beef here. $17 on 6.3 pounds of ground beef. And then I got $17 on, ooh, 6.3 pounds of ground beef. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so a lot, a lot of ground beef, you know what I mean? And then, since that wasn't enough to satisfy my friggin' iron craving, I feel like a vampire, um, I got these roasts. And these were a good deal too. $13.43 for 4.21 pounds for roast. And it's two of them and I'll probably cut them down and make three freezer meals out of that. I plan on making like Mississippi chicken. Oh my gosh. I've never made that as a freezer meal before. I know it's a crock pot meal. It's like easy to throw together, but literally the last thing I want to do when I'm like two days postpartum is stand up and do anything, you know what I mean? And, but I still want my kids to eat and my family because I love them and you know, and I don't want them to order out. And okay, I digress. Moving along, I got a ton of chicken broth over here. Uh, a lot of, what is this? There are 12 cans of corn, 12 cans of green beans, eight cans of black beans, three cans of these San Marzano tomatoes, which I am guess I'm kind of obsessed with. I don't know. I don't buy tomato sauce anymore. I just make it myself with a can of this, a can of the small like tomato paint, <laughs> like how I did that. It's not that small quite. And then I do like water and then some ground beef or sausage, whatever you have. Oh my gosh, so add some onions. <gasps> I feel like I should, I think I shared a tomato sauce recipe with you guys, like a, a Sunday tomato sauce, pasta sauce. I don't remember. Anyway, I got these from Publix. The, um, uh, it's ice cream and it was such a dilemma picking out ice cream. I don't even want to talk about it <laughs> I don't even like ice cream, but my fam Alex was like get some ice cream. We're having guests And I was like no why I said I'm not gonna have room in my freezer. He's like well don't worry about it We'll eat it all <laughs> I said deal um, I got some bell peppers obviously for breakfast burritos also for many other dishes I just don't remember what I think chili I'm making some chili. I got some Rice, I'm making like a taco casserole bake. I'm making something else that I need rice for. And also just I need rice. And looking at this, I should have bought more. What was I thinking? You know what? I wasn't thinking. I was so distracted by a child. You know what I mean? In the grocery store. It is true. You get distracted by children. Mostly your own, you know? I got some tater tots. Also plan on making tater tot casserole. Staple. That's like a staple freezer meal. I've been watching a million freezer meal videos. Can I tell you how many times I've seen people make tater tot casserole? Also a million. <laughs> um, I'm making this. I'm not making this. I bought some peanut butter cup Ben and Jerry's and then the chocolate chip cookie dough. Guys, if these weren't buy one get one free, what in the actual heck? Because they were like six dollars for one pint. It better be the best ice cream I've ever had in my entire, I don't even like ice cream. I think I told you that. I'm gonna eat it. It was $6. <laughs> you know what I do like? Cookie dough, like raw cookie dough. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I make some that's like eggless. It's delicious. Anyway, I did get the grape jelly. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Also got some yogurt. Wentworth was asking for that this morning and I said, I'm going to the store. And he said, don't forget yogurt. He's so, he's so sweet. Uh, anyway, I got some garlic. I'll be needing that eventually. A lot of sausage, five little pounds here. And oh my gosh, it's sad that I'm mentioning this so late in the haul. This, it, it, first of all, it's falling apart. What is happening? Second of all, these are the best cinnamon rolls you will ever eat in your entire life. Strike that, probably not the best, but however, they are the best that you will make from a refrigerated can like this. I like to make these Sunday morning just as a special treat, mostly because I like anything carbs these days <laughs> in my body. Car, I mean, I'll literally eat anything. It's like a joke at this point, except for ice cream. But I think I told you I still will eat the ice cream. <laughs> okay, these are so good. They're pricey. These were more than $5 for five rolls, but they're big. They don't taste weird. They don't have a weird aftertaste. They taste like homemade cinnamon rolls without the effort or work involved, no skill involved. And I think at Target, these are cheaper. I'm going to be honest about that. I sometimes buy them from Target because they're like a dollar cheaper. It's crazy. I got some pepperoncini peppers for the Mississippi chicken. Or wait, did I say chicken the other when I was 
talking about the roast Mississippi roast whatever you can make it with chicken make it with roast it's delicious either way a rose by any other name my friends I got a ton of beans pinto kidney kidney uh for what am I making with that chili obviously and a lot of it apparently I also got green chilies chopped green chilies i don't know what i'm making guys I, I forgot at this point garbanzo beans that was snuck into the cart by an eight-year-old that shall remain nameless i got tomato sauce for the um burritos like the what kind of burritos i forgot like the beef and bean burritos yes our juice gravy for the roast and then oh a bunch of refried beans oh my gosh and the very last thing before I share with you Trader Joe's haul, is milk. I know, I never buy cow's milk ever, ever, ever. However, I am making like this creamy gnocchi soup and I just don't wanna mess it up by adding almond milk, <laughs> which I don't know. I, I add almond milk to any other recipe and it's totally fine, who cares? But I really don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> But I'm kind of on the fence. I might use it, I might not. It's only like $2 for this entire gallon, which is crazy at Costco. Everything at Costco is crazy. However, I don't like to make a lot of freezer meals with dairy in them, especially like when I'm postpartum because I don't know if the baby is gonna have like a sensitivity to dairy. I've had to cut out um, dairy from our my diet before. So I don't want to make a ton of freezer meals with this just in case. I don't know. I'm very conflicted if you can't tell. I also think I'm just going to throw a couple of these in the freezer. <sighs> so good. Did I say freezer? I meant oven. I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, here's the Trader Joe's haul. Go. Here is the little haul as a whole. No, I did not clean off my counter because this real life, we live here. You know what I mean? Okay, so first I got some frozen broccoli. I am obsessing over broccoli with lemon juice on top of it, it's real. I have to eat it like four times a day, not really, because then I would need more broccoli than this. I got a bundle of bananas, some lemons, obviously can't have broccoli and lemon without lemons. Beef and broccoli, even more broccoli, I'm obsessed, I tell you. It's just so good for you. So I think the last time I bought this, my kids really enjoyed it. And one bag is not enough for a larger family. I don't, are we considered a larger family? There's five of us, almost six. And Alex and I both eat for like three people, so <laughs> I would say so. I serve that over rice and it is, from my memory, delicious. I got a tower of gnocchi, that's how I say it, gnocchi, because I grew up saying it that way. My family is Italian and they say it that way, so you could say it however you want, I won't judge you. Anyway, I got a ton of them. One, because the price at Trader Joe's is amazing, and two, I have so many meal ideas, well, mostly two, two meal ideas for this one freezer meal. I want to make a copycat, it's either Olive Garden or Carrabba's, like, oh gosh, what is it? It's like a, a gnocchi soup, I, I don't know, but stay tuned and I will share that recipe with you in an upcoming freezer meals video, but also I love cooking. I do two packages at a time for our family, so if you do two packages and then like half a thing of bacon cut up into like little pieces and Brussels sprouts, oh my gosh, it's the easiest weeknight meal and so delicious if you like gnocchi Brussels sprouts and bacon, who doesn't? I got this, this is kind of seasonal, or at least I thought so because look at that guy on the side. <laughs> but really, he's dead because it's so spicy and I thought that was funny. And it's taco sauce. I stink and love tacos, so I figured uh, my go-to sauce is Taco Bell hot sauce, so I'm gonna see how that measures up. I got some hot cocoa pastries, aka Pop-Tarts, toaster pastries, whatever they're called. My kids really liked these last year. I don't remember what they taste like. I'm sure I tasted them, but I can tell you I didn't eat them. I'm not a fan of Pop-Tarts in general. I am a fan of hot chocolate, so I will say that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I found this vanilla bean paste. You won't believe the price. This was like $5. I was like, what, say what? And it's good until February 2021? Yes, so it's good for quite some time. I thought this would be so delicious in just about anything that you bake. Am I right? I mean, come on, that's so fancy. Speaking of fancy, I can smell these cinnamon sticks. Oh my gosh, they're so delicious. They're not even cinnamon sticks, what are they? They're little cinnamon whisks. 
I want to put one of these in my car and there I think they were only a dollar so I grabbed two of them one for each of our cars Alex and mine but then I thought he doesn't really like scents so I'll save them both for my car deal I got some chocolate chips because um oh I also want to make pope spread I want to like stock up I want to make so much pope spread that I won't have to make it for the next year you know what I mean but it yeah, I'll probably have to anyway because it's so delicious. If you don't know, I think I have a recipe on Pope's about what, what am I trying to say? I have a recipe for Pope spread on my channel. It is so good. You got so okay. I will say my family who grew up on it loves it. Majority of them, 90%. Other people, not so much. It took Alex a few years to come around to it, but I think he's just ate it, eaten it so many times. He's like, yeah, okay, this is good. <laughs> He'll eat anything. Anyway, I got some raisins for that as well. I grabbed this cheesy spaghetti squash casserole, and a part of me thinks, oh my gosh, Kim, you should have grabbed four of these because if they're as good as I think that they are, I'm gonna wanna eat it at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I mean? I, I think this is gonna be on the menu tonight. I don't know what I'm making for dinner, but I think this will be a side dish to it, and I will keep you updated on my thoughts. Hot cocoa stirrers, yes! These are back, and it's not even winter time. Like fall just began, but they have these, and I think these are great for stocking stuffers or just like a nice fall, or fall, <laughs> A nice winter evening. I don't know, guys. It's Florida. I don't know my seasons. We just have hot and really, really freaking hot seasons. Those are our two seasons hot, really freaking hot. Anyway, I grabbed these for on the rare occasion we have a cold day and want some hot cocoa. I think those are just fun for the kids. I grabbed this mostly for my dad. So they're not like normal licorice. They're just little chewy, they call them threads. And I thought, man, that would be fun. I'll throw this in with his Christmas gift this year. <laughs> Why not? Okay, let me know if you like black licorice. I know, Ooh, I, I like, I can smell this coming from the bag and I'm like, oh my gosh, please cover that crap up with cinnamon because it's, <laughs> I am not a fan of black licorice. Raw pecan halves, maybe, maybe as I get older, I'll try it some more. Maybe it's like a taste buds thing. You know how your taste buds change like every eight years or so? Anyway, I got some pecan halves. These were quite expensive. I don't know what came over me because I can buy like 70 times this amount at Costco for twice the price. So it was more of an impulse buy than anything else, okay? I got these, oh, always a great buy. The sea salt brownies, Alex loves these. They're like a fudgy brownie on the inside. He adores them. Oh, these chocolatey cats, cookies for people. Everyone in my family loves these. You guys, okay. So I will say, and I've mentioned before, you eat one of these and you're like, oh, okay, it's just a, like a chocolate cookie, no big deal. And then you eat like 70 of them and you're like, oh my gosh, these are fantastic. And then you freaking dip that chocolate cookie cat in peanut butter. It's gonna take you to another dimension, I tell you. You're gonna die because life doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I mean, it does, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm dramatic, it's delicious, I like to eat them, and look, they're cats, they're so cute. Okay, uh, definitely a staple in our house. I needed some olive oil, so I got some. Did not need these Scandinavian swimmers. Got these anyway because they were calling my name. Who doesn't like a good sour gummy? I got about 17 pounds of sushi. One spicy, the rest tempura. I feel like whenever I buy two, they're gone in a flash. So I decided to double up. I got four of them. All right, that's that and so I'm putting all my groceries away and realizing I don't know if I ever made a proper outro. So if I didn't, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope I gave you some kind of inspiration. I'm so out of breath running back and forth to my garage, which is literally right there. It's like five steps away. Rest assured, I will have a ton of freezer meals coming at you soon. And if you don't do freezer meals, well, guess what? They're dinner recipes and hopefully they're amazing. I'm gonna share it all with you but I'll see you next time. Bye.